it is your girl MD and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe before you head out. Honestly, every single time, talking about heading out, every time that I leave my apartment mainly to go pick up another Amazon package, I'm like, is this real life? Like, what is happening? And one of the many things that throws me off about this whole situation is that we don't even know how long we're going to be like this, let alone what our new normal is going to look like when we do come up for air and get out of quarantine. But one thing that I do know is that until there's a cure or a vaccine for the coronavirus, that our immune systems have to be strong. So what I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today is what I am taking for my immune system currently and probably until further notice. Y'all know I ain't a doctor. I'm just a person that does my research and asks a lot of questions. I also have really great people around me that are really knowledgeable and gracious enough to share that knowledge with me. So like I say in all my videos, do your own research for your personal self, for your health, to make sure that you're able to, you know, maybe try out some of my recommendations because, you know, not a doctor, just a person, just like you, has access to the internet and books and things. Yeah, just saying. Okay, so first up is elderberries. It is a fruit that comes from a Sambucus tree. So people typically take these to fight off a common cold, the flu, and overall just to boost their immune system. It is an overall immune booster. Elderberry is antiviral and it prevents the virus from replicating in the body. It contains antioxidant properties as well as anti-inflammatory. It is jam-packed with vitamin A, potassium, vitamin C, folate, calcium, and iron. And it's also a really great source of fiber. I'm drinking it in tea form, but you can also make a syrup and there's other ways that you can definitely incorporate it into your routine. They've been preaching to us since the beginning of time that vitamin C is a1 for the immune system, so that is why I am taking them. Yes, this is a huge thing. There's 500 capsules in here. This was like the only one that they had left on Amazon, but you know, it'll last me for a while. So it's a strong antioxidant and a big contributor to immune defense. It's going to encourage the production of white blood cells and that is gonna help protect your body against infection. So next on my list is zinc. So zinc is very important to the body and I don't know if a lot of people know that but it keeps your immune system strong. It's going to help heal any issues that might be starting to form in the body. Low zinc can threaten your immune system and just like most things as we get older, things start to decline and you have to replenish. Research has shown that, especially in older people, if you maintain a good level of zinc, that it can play a very important part in preventing pneumonia. Read up on zinc, it's really interesting, especially the benefits when it comes to our more vintage folks. So I would encourage you to encourage your parents, your grandparents to definitely start taking zinc, especially in the times that we're currently living in. Yes, I want you to take it too, but it's definitely going to benefit them. It is a mineral that is essential to the body, so make sure that you are able to take it because remember, I am Doctor. Zinc is just really going to help the immune system fight off any invading bacteria and viruses and help make you resist infection. Okay, so next up is fire cider. So it's said to restore and invigorate one system. Well, that's what it says online. But it's supposed to boost your energy and keep colds and the flu at bay. It's a powerful immune booster, anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antiviral, decongestion, circulation, and digestion. So in this fire cider in particular, it has apple cider vinegar, honey, oranges, lemon, onion, ginger, horseradish, garlic, turmeric, pepper, contains live raw vinegar, raw honey. So it kind of tastes like a mild pickle juice, but with some tang and spice. Like it is hot, like spicy a little bit, but not like unbearable spicy. It's just like a quick spice. You're only supposed to take a tablespoon for maintenance every day, or if say it's like flu season or currently, and like say you're a person that has to go to work still every day, then it's recommended for you to t take a shot of it. You like spicy food, but it does have like spice and spicy and spices. <laughs> oh, so I went out last week to the grocery store and so I got really paranoid. So ever since then, I've just been, I've just been throwing them back. Shots, shot, 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 shots. If you don't like pickles or pickle juice, I don't want this to deter you from trying it from my description because it's not really like pickles, but to me, it just reminds me a little bit of pickle juice. Okay, so this fire cider in particular, so I got all this stuff actually off of Amazon. So the cider, they are sold out. I went back the other day to try and get a bunch more and it doesn't even have a date of when they're going to restock. So I went to their actual website and you can still purchase off of there. And the unique thing about them, and I know it's not convenient because it's not Amazon, but this is a small family owned business and I would just encourage you to try and support more 
small businesses to just, you know, pop over to the website and maybe check them out over there. And they are doing a 15% off like discount. So take advantage of that as well. No, I'm not getting paid. I don't even know what these people look like. I've never even, I don't even know the last name. I am just, just encouraging you to hopefully support another small business. There are other fire ciders that I did see on Amazon. I just, I don't know anything about them. I can only vouch for the one that I have tried. Okay, so last on the list is vitamin D because we're not going outside as much. Most days, not at all. Well, at least me, I'm not really. I don't even have a balcony, so I'm not even really participating in outside activities at all. When you have a lot of vitamin D deficiency, you're going to be more susceptible to infection. It's going to help your immune system function normally and help your body resist certain infections and diseases. Yeah, so what's that? Five, yeah, that's not so bad. There are a bunch of other benefits from taking all of these things that I didn't mention, but I was just focusing on the benefits to your immune system. Aren't the only things that you can take, these are just the things that I'm taking. And I just wanted to share just in case someone was looking for some other things and supplements to boost their immune system. Don't forget to research zinc. Again, we all know that I am not a doctor. I don't claim to be, and I don't know if you can take these things if you are nursing or pregnant. Do your research. I hope you found this video helpful if you would like more lifestyle content from me, let me know down below and maybe even leave a suggestion. Stay safe, stay home, wash them hands, don't touch your face. So everything that I mentioned in this video, I would definitely leave links down below so make sure you guys check them out. So let me know below what you are taking to boost your immune system. And like always, I love you, I appreciate you, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.